In this tutorial, we will show you how you would transfer files by using FileStation. Now, FileStation essentially allows a user to manage the information that exists on their NAS system over the web browser rather than using a separate program to do that. Now, the first thing is to locate the IP address of our NAS system. You can use QFinder to easily scan your local area network, which will show you what the IP address is. From then, you can double click on it and it'll automatically open up your browser and take you to the NAS system. Now the other way to go about finding the IP address of your NAS is if it has a front display uh, you can press the select button and then it'll tell you what the IP address is. Once you know the IP address you can then go to your web browser and enter the address on top and which will take you to the login page for your NAS system. Once you arrive at the login page, you're going to enter the credentials for the NAS. Now by default, it's admin admin, but if you changed it in the initial setup, then just go ahead and enter that correct password. Now once we're logged into the NAS, we're going to go ahead and open up FileStation. This is what we're going to use in order to transfer the uh, files. So we're going to be using the home shared folder as an example. So all that we need to do is on our computer, open up the location where our files are at that we want copied onto the NAS and simply drag and drop them. Whenever you copy to the NAS, you have two choices. One is you can have the NAS skip a file if it already exists inside of your NAS server or you can overwrite it so you copy to it regardless of whether or not it exists. Once you started copying, you'll get an animation on the top right. If you select it, you'll get a status window in which will show you uh, the uh, current status of each file that's been copied over. Uh, from there you can see if it's successful or if there's an error. Um, you can also pause the copy process or you can just cancel it. Now in order to copy files from the NAS system in order to your computer, uh, there's various ways. One is you can hold control and you can be real specific as far as which files you want. You can hold shift and select a section files that you want in between those or you can just right click on the file and then go to download. Now when you select multiple files the NAS system will automatically place those files within the zip archive. So once you download them you will need to extract those files. Once they're extracted you'll now have your files downloaded from the NAS. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to transfer files from a Mac computer to our NAS systems. We also have another video that will show you on how to transfer files from a Windows computer to the NAS.